Hello and welcome you amazing person, my name is Rob and the Manic Gaming Guy and today we're cracking in with another automation tutorial of interior sort of stuff To be specific, we're going to be putting some custom gauges in that work so your rev will work and your speedo will work and you can do this any sort of way that you want in your own little custom car So without further ado, let's get started the car I am working on today is this little butte I made way back before it was easy to make all your props move like your steering wheels. In this car I have the handbrake working, the steering wheel working, the pedals are working, um, the headlights are working. We just need to sort out the gauges and that will be most of the things that you'd really want to have working in your car. I'm also going to set up hopefully the gauges to work when the headlights come on. You can also do the same sort of thing with um, anything that glows up basically in your car. Now I've already gone ahead and got a few things out of the interior 3D. I've got some beam and G gauge lights that work. Uh, just put the ones that you feel you need in your car. I also stole some needles from this mod. You can also use um, these gauges here. Just make all the in other materials invisible apart from your uh, needle that you wish to use. So there's some top tips for you. At the moment we're stuck in this little spin cam orbit thing. If you hold shift and C you'll go into your um, floaty ghost free cam mode. You want to just get inside and be able to see your interior. There we go. So I've already got some gauges up to which ones you get. But uh, here's mine. Go up. I'm going to keep the snap on. And then let's go turn this so it's facing us perfectly. That should be facing forward. Yeah, there we go. So these are the gauges I'm going to use. The needles about right it's quite big. okay i'm gonna probably make this smaller these gauges but you know, roughly get into place i've got this needle set to 45 degree angle so 15 even if you put 15 degrees in here and then just notch it back one make sure it is pointing up now it should be in the same angle as this needle i've already got in place it's quite important now you can see my dials here i'm trying to put in are a bit too big so i'm just gonna shrink them down just a smidge until you know they're quite visible you want to think as well when you're driving get this camera set up in roughly where it would be in the game mind somewhere like back here maybe a bit higher up well, i can see enough of the gauges maybe i would want to move it down a bit yeah, somewhere like that Gauges are quite far back, so I'm going to go as far as back as I can. There we go. So, uh, yeah, get to this point of stage, and then we'll get you to the next bit. Right, so, at the moment we've got some needles already showing, so I'm going to find the material that, that is. And we are just going to make it invisible, so we can't see them anymore. Stage complete. This can be really fiddly depending on how you want to do this, so I'll probably skip a few sections just as a warning. But I'm going to now try and line this up best as I can to the circle on these um, gauges. My needle is quite small and I'm not going to be able to... Actually no, I'd say it's, it's big enough. It will do. I've got my snap on, um, but first I'm going to clone it by holding shift and touch one of these arrows and that can be the ref rev gauge one why does that feel like it's come away no that's still still okay it is a little bit big unfortunately but we have to put up with that and obviously we'd want hey i'm gonna clone it again one to go here and then another one to go here ideally um I should be using some smaller needles than the ones I am using. So, 
Um, you can't just resize these because we're going to be using code. Uh, the code doesn't like it being resized. So just keep that in mind when it comes to using these. Right, so I'm going to set this to empty. And then we got this one. Set the temperature to a low. I know the needles are ridiculously big. We'll probably get away with moving these out a bit, actually. No, okay, maybe not that much. There we go. Move it out a little bit. It doesn't look so bad now. Okay, then we got this one. You need to be set to zero. And then obviously this one needs to be set to zero. Get all your lines up like that. And then you're ready for the next stage. Okay, well, um, I kind of left a little bit out really. You can do this now, but high sight, you should have done this before making these needles. But I've already colored mine blue. They were originally red. And then also I've made them glass material. So I went into here, clicked on new paint. And then I went down here and I chose glass. Uh, I'll just do it all over again, why not? Choose glass. Oh, Edit the paint with this button down here, advanced paint. You want to not mock about with that. You want to change the color of it. Do, 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 to whatever color you're aiming for. I just tend to do it on both of these to be safe. And uh, yeah, that was it. You do that. And then you turn this to headlights. Okay, easy enough. I'm just gonna put it back to the other blue that I had because I like this one more. Those set the headlights, brilliant. So I'm just gonna check all these needles are set to headlights. Jobs are good in. Right, yeah, you could stop there. That'd be quite comfortable for most people. But if you wanna go that extra mile, like I said, you can also grab these things. And put them in place. Same trick as before. Keep everything locked to I don't know whatever you call it, the grass. I don't know, freediness. Uh, line this or oh, you're going to disappear soon. There we go. To where it needs to go. I'm pretty sure this is meant to have. No. Okay, so we can get the arrows lined up quite easy anyway. So if we bring this to the green arrow. It's sort of the wrong shape, but if I pull it inside... Oh, we've got to change the degrees, don't forget. So it's facing up by 15. Now, it's under the plastic, but above the glass inside there. And I'm going to choose this arrow. Um, which is fine. It's, it's, it's going to do the trick. It's going to look a bit weird. Maybe if I did I know, something like that, would that look cooler? Yeah, I think that would look cooler. So I'm going to shift and click the arrow, and then... Just choose the other one. And like I say, you can go crazy with these. You've got traction control, oil, fuel, you know, you've got all your headlights. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and uh, show you the result. And there you have it. All these lights will be off when you load the game and they'll come on when you turn them on. Like the lights will come on and the indicators on that will work. The one final fun trip thing to do, good tip is to go onto your gauges, find your numbers, and then I want to be turn these into glass. Do, do, do. I'm going to go into edit, and I think a soft blue might look good. I don't know, you could just stick to white, I guess. But quite a lot of cars have this sort of style. I don't know why it looks white at the bottom it should be doing that yeah i think i like that maybe a bit brighter you'd actually see it in the daytime yeah that makes more sense volume color now is that going to be i don't actually know what i know surface color is obviously the color it is volume color that might be when the light gets turned on which would mean you'd probably want to make it quite dark I don't know. We'll keep it as it is for now. And then obviously put that to headlight. And you can do that to all sorts of things. Um, like down here. 
So all the gauges will work. I know these ones are already set up by the seams of it. Yeah, look, there you go. That that bit of glass lights up apparently. I could obviously do it to all the writing as well. That'll look quite cool. So that in theory should come on. You can test it by doing this. Yeah. So it might not be working because we might need to change the material. We don't know. Let's find out. Theory, should we have to just uh, make the turn on look lights? Okay then, if not, maybe you have to make it glass. And then, do, do, do. Uh, the right one was red, wasn't it? There we go. Does, does that make it work now? No. Okay, ignore that. It is doable. Um, you might have to use the mod. There was a another way of doing it. You can get the mod thing. If you scroll, I like, don't scroll. You have to go on um, the workshop in Steam. And you can find other textures like these. And one of them is called Glow Gauge Glow Gauge Variant. But we don't want variant. We want just the normal one, I believe. And then. Do, do, do. I don't know why it's set to orange. Orange would be fine. And yes, there we go. Now, in theory, that should now work. Yeah, there we go. So, my gauges better be working now after doing all this. You. Okay. Okay, well, the gauges are broken, so we're just going to quickly fix that in the same way we just did the stereo so i'm gonna choose one of my gauges i'm gonna edit this one can i just edit this paint edit paint yes hopefully this changes with more go back to the, the glow one we want this to be a blue what do we want like a dark blue i think dark blue color looks cool and then i want to change this color as well and then there we go. There we go. That's what we want. Oh, so sorry for telling you to put glass on there. I honestly thought that worked. Silly me. Well, at least you, um, we, we live and learn. That's cool. Let's go see this now in Beam and G. And it's going to test it all out, make sure it's all working all right. Oh, no, wait, 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 no. You don't know how to get them to work. I need to show you that. This is going to be in the description. Yeah, you want to copy and paste this into your description in automation. Uh, probably don't mess around with these too much. This is what they all mean. So you've got prop. You've got your fixture number right there. Your function, which is your clutch. Rotation is that number. Rotation Y is that number. Rotation Z is that number. Then you've got transform, which is like your back and forth rather than rotate. And then your min and the max, which is like the minimum number, which can be like a negative 200, and your max is about 200, so that's like your steering wheel, so they go either way. Your offset is hard to explain, and your multiplier is like just, just double the action, I guess, or quadruple, or whatever number you put in there. So say like this is your one-to-one -one setting, so if you put a multiplier at the end, well, you've got to put one anyway, but if you put like two, it'd be two times that effort or whatever. I'm sure you understand. So yeah, so copy this in, and the ones you want for your gauges, the ones that I know that work so far, is your revs per minute and wheel speed. Obviously revs per minute is this one, wheel speed is this one. I don't know the heat gauge or anything, or the fuel one yet. I'm still trying to work them out. If you know what they are, please put them in the description. I'd love to be able to get them working. Apart from that, now let's go to BMG and make sure they're working. And I've uploaded the car, well, exported the car to BeamNG, and this is why we test things. I completely, I showed you the code for the car was to work, but I didn't actually link the code to the gauges, so that's funny. Uh, this white source is showing through. I think this is because it's glass underneath this glass. I don't think BeamNG likes the way automation can do that. Yeah, look, if you go inside, it doesn't look so bad. Um, so yeah, that needs sorting out. Apart from that, I think, oh yeah, the handbrake. 
uh, goes through. I need to change the angle on that, make it go up more. But uh, yeah, I think that's all working. The throttle and the brake, and that's working. The clutch will be working. Obviously, we've got the pop up headlights. They're working very nicely, so that's good. Yeah, let's go back into automation now. Uh, top tip, you don't actually have to close BMG, depending on your computer's specs. You can probably just open automation, do your changes, and then when you click back on BMG, it will reload the car back up for you. Let's give that a go. Okay, we're back in automation. So let's show you what I mean. So in the description where we put our little bit of code, we're going to find where we put our revs per minute and our wheel speed. We want to be changing this number here to match the prop numbers that are in the dashboard. So we go back to fit features, pictures even to I'll say, and one day I'll speak properly. And 110 should be, that's strange, I'm sure we got 110 hooked up. 110 should be the speed, and then 113 should be the revs. So, okay. 113 should be the revs, and 110 should be the speed. Okay, that would be that fixed now. Um, also on your car, you might want to change. This is how far the revs go up. So this car revs up to 10,500 revs. I know the speed only got to eight, but this dial should just keep going beyond that. Also, do, 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 when it comes to speed, that's this car's top speed, 220 miles per hour. So this is miles per hour. I've got it clocked up for that. And probably just use the settings I have. You might have to tweak them a little bit to get like, say the speedo might be out a little bit, but you tend to not to need to know exactly where you are, as long as it's roughly in the right place. Also, when it comes to colouring in um, this thing, uh, you can do other stuff like obviously the red here can be, uh, we already did a red, didn't we? That glowed. There we go. So it's this one. No, it's not. It's got to be. It's got to be this one. Yeah, there we go. So now we set that to headlights. Now this will glow up red when do 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 we turn our headlights on like other cars do, like real cars do, real life. So that's good. Oh my god, there's more of them. Uh, do, do, do. I did do that, didn't I? Yeah, headlights. So I didn't realise I'd go have to do this many. I thought it'd just be like a couple of clicks and we'll be done. I may as well get it done now and it's all out of the way. So then we put our headlights on. Yeah, that looks cool. And obviously, ah, oh, so this one failed in the end, didn't it? No, wait, what the? So um, that green tint, that's green glass tint. That's fine then. Uh, that black's fine. That red. Um, is that our problem then? You know, I had the problem with the whiteness showing up. I might work that out a different day, but I do want this car ready for you guys to play with straight away after we finish this. Um, it's got to be like red, surely, isn't it? Why must I just make that nothing? Anyway, we'll just do that. Fixed. Fixed, fixed, fixed. Uh, same with this one. We'll just get rid of the green. Yeah, it still works. Works for me. And then we want to find what we did here. And then make this a new one again. That actually works because we used the glass technique and the glass technique didn't work. We was breaking it. So they were just going to do this for me. Green. No, not green. I'm sure we're going for blue, wasn't it? Do, do, do. Uh, 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 that's all right. Metallicness. Make it a bit more metallic. Bring that down. Make it a bit more of a nice blue. Cool. Cool. Headlights. Come on. Yes. That looks cool. I like that. Amazing. What other problems did we have? We had this. 
So this problem, it was going the right way, but I've got it in the off position. So I just need to basically put this into, oh no, oh, take the magnet fin off, control set to undo. Put this basically into the on position because the car starts with the handbrake on and then it will turn off when we take the handbrake off. And that was it. I believe that's all the fixes we needed to do. So if we now go back into BMG. Hopefully all that works and then uh, we can talk about it a little bit more in the other game. And we're back again in BMG. We have got the handbrake working. Yay, so that's good. Um, we've got the lights working on the, the on the dashboard, gauges and all that. Yay, so that's good. That works. Good stuff. Um, but we haven't got working gauges yet. Like, And I think I know why. I think it's the mod. Um, if I use different gauges, I reckon we'll get it working. Let's give that a go. All I'm going to do is go into automation, um, choose some different knobs needles and replace these ones change the code so it matches what this should be like basically what you've seen and that's what you're going to see after this hoorah i've got them working look Whee! and put it into auto oh okay yeah we've been flying away yeah the speed one's working as well look at that now obviously um mine looks a bit jank some of the needles are too big um, they're overlapping things but uh, you can fix that take a little bit more time than I have with mine and then uh, make it look a lot prettier than I have with mine but uh, yeah there you go it works it does the job it looks cool enough effective enough I think I would maybe make the glass a bit more transparent just so you can see it a bit more clearer. I was hoping it was going to crash. Come on, go straight. I wanted to show you the uh, gauges lit up when it makes a crash. Because the hazards are going to come on. Come on, don't you dare not crash. There we go. Oh. Um, yeah, well, they are showing. But we just can't see because we crashed. There you go. <laughs> Well, I am the Manic Gaming Guy, and as always, you've been an amazing person. Hopefully, this tutorial has taught you a bit, and you make some extremely beautiful cars. Go drive safe now on those roads. Try not to be a lunatic. Keep real. Stay safe and share that love. And if you feel like it, hit that like button. Bye-bye.